Welcome to Larry King Now. We are in New York. John Katsimatidis, he is a self-made billionaire. This is a great American success story. He's worth over three billion. He owns many businesses from the Gristini supermarket chain to quick fill gas stations. He's also making a bid to be a New York City mayor, hoping to win on the Republican ticket. Why, 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 with all you've got, what are you running for office? I want to give back. You know, years ago, uh, I saw the play about uh, Mayor LaGuardia. My friend Tony LaBianco is, is doing it. I think Tony really thinks he's Mayor LaGuardia now. <laughs> and um, it, it, it's, it, it was a, he was a wonderful mayor. Uh, during his uh, term, he built both airports, he built both, uh, both tunnels, he built the Grand Central Parkway, he built the Henry Hudson Parkway. And, and he read uh, the comics every and, Sunday morning. And he read the comics. And you know what we need? We need a mayor of all the people for the 21st century LaGuardia. But what do you need it for? I want to give back. I came from this little uh, rock. I was born in on an island in uh, Greece. Um, and I came and lived in Harlem, 135th Street. And this, this city, this country gave me great success. Where I, I'm, you know, I'm one of the leading guys, uh, industrial people, and I want to give back. Don't forget, I came. My father was a busboy, and the son of a busboy, his his boss was Jan Mitchell, who owned Longchamp's restaurants and Lou Chow's. <laughs> Guess whose apartment I live in? The son of a busboy has is living in Jan Mitchell's apartment. That's a success. My building was the building that didn't want Richard Nixon to move in. Oh, yours was that building. And, Where did you make and your... And who did my daughter marry? Who? Richard Nixon's grandson, a wonderful <laughs> boy. And, and it's just coincidence upon coincidence. So you're related by, by marriage to Richard Nixon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> when, what, where did you make your first dollar? Where did... I started, you know, when I was going to, I was going to college, NYU, and I was working for a guy I called the Big Brother, and he forced me, because I, I always listened to him. I always listened to Tony. And he says, you got to buy half my uh, other grocery store that I'm partners with my uncle in, because I'm arguing with him every day. I can't take it. Me, I'm a lover. I became partners with his uncle, and we never had an argument. That's my nature. Where did you have the money to become partners? I, he gave me $10,000 for half the store on notes. So Pay me when you make the money. And Was uh, that Gristini's? No, that was my, my first little grocery store. And I, then I opened up Red Apple. And uh, it was, um, you know, I was making, uh, engineers in those days, I was making $129 a week. I was making 500 So I said, this is a miracle. And, you know, my, my mother cried, my father yelled, we sent you to the university to become well, a Greek word or, or Turkish word, a hamali. You know what a hamali is? Do not. It's a guy that carries crates on his back. <laughs> and they cried, they yelled. But um, before my mother passed away, she saw some of my success. And before my dad passed away, he saw a lot of my success. When did you, so what, you, you got into the oil business? Was the oil, you were in retail? I started in the supermarket business. I ended up buying Pantry Pride in Florida from uh, Ron Pantry. Perlman. <laughs> I know you're a Florida guy. Uh, I ended up going into the real estate business when nobody wanted real estate in New York. And then by accident, then I was in the airline business. We owned Capital Airlines. We had offices all over the place, all over the world. We started a corporate jet company that ended up becoming NetJets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. And then, the people we sold the airline to went bankrupt. We went to the bankruptcy court to uh, recover our airplanes. And on the way to the bankruptcy court, we bought the oil company. So, uh, and we saved 5,000 jobs. It's a great company in existence since 1902. And we... we North we, American oil too, right? What are, if you saw our commercials, our gasoline is made from 100% American oil coming in from Canada through our pipeline and made in the United States. And we have put 
signs all over our gas stations, and we advertise it. And our sales, because it's American-made oil, our sales are up 16 consecutive quarters. People love it. They'd rather buy our gasoline than buy Chavez's or buy <laughs> BP's or buy Saudi Arabian. And that company, I remember, uh, you know, I, I bought it for $6 million. A lot of money in 1984. Yeah, a lot. It's cheap now, yeah. $6 million. Well, okay. you know, we make that a week. <laughs> <laughs> how, but, did, how did Gristini's come to you? Is well, I started that, that Miami Beach. I it? started that little small grocery store, and within five years, we had ten stores, and we kept building stores. And in 1985, 86, when I got back, I lived in Smyrna, Tennessee, for a while, running the airline. When I got back from Smyrna, when we sold the airline, I was bored. I needed to 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 do more. You know, I had offices all over the world at the age of 30, and then all of a sudden, I had to come back to New York. And Southland owned 7,000 7 Eleven Seven stores. 7,000 7 Eleven stores and 63 Gristini stores. So they scratched their head. I remember I flew down to Dallas one Friday afternoon, met with uh, John Thompson in Dallas. We made, a, we, we made a contract on a piece of scrap paper. And he says to me, okay, we signed it. We signed on a piece of scrap paper. And he says to me, well, why don't we go upstairs, have a drink, let my lawyers put it in a more formal way. And we go upstairs and have a drink, because they, they had a, a, a bar upstairs in the top, of, top floor of uh, Southland at that time. And by the time I came downstairs, we had a contract. I flew back to New York. I flew to Dallas that morning, flew back to New York that night, and we had a deal. That's the way seven, deals are made. 7-Eleven and Gracidis yeah. is everywhere. Back to the primary. All right, you're going to run it. John Lotow, right, is running. He, he's uh, Rudy Giuliani's uh, deputy, old deputy mayor. So Rudy's supporting him. Uh, Rudy's supporting him. Governor Pataki's supporting me. Um, and, yeah, and uh, uh, I think uh, we are able, if we win, when, we will win the Republican nomination September 10th. I also have the Liberal Party nomination. So you're a moderate Republican. So I'm running, I'm a moderate. Well, that's what New York Republicans have to be. Yeah, you have to be. Bloomberg's uh, And don't forget, uh, for many years, Bill Clinton and me are very good friends. Um, so uh, we run as a Republican liberal. That's the way Rudy Giuliani won originally. Bloomberg won as a Republican liberal. I'm not collecting any money. I'm spending my own money because I don't want to go around begging for money. I'm but just it, writing it the is, check. You will admit, and LaGuardia was a Republican also. La LaGuardia well, Republican was independent. a Republican independent, a fusion, fusion ticket. Right. And I'm going to be a fusion ticket. But this is a Democratic city. Absolutely. So you're running against the odds, right? You're running, even though Republicans have been elected here. Well, the Liberal Party, the purpose of, you know, is all my old Democratic friends uh, will be able to vote for me on the Liberal line. What puzzles me, John, about Republican liberals is they seem to be the outcast of the party. They're not the Tea Party Republicans. They're the... We're not the Tea Party you're the, you're the fringe now. You used to be the Herald Tribune. You used to be the fringe of the party. You used to be the Lindsay's and we Rockefeller's. Are the Republican liberals in New York, we are pro-business Republicans. We are pro-safety in our streets Republicans. You know, I, I've said publicly that Ray Kelly, I would love for him to stay as police commissioner because he's kept this city uh, safe. And you know where we are? I've been on Bob Morgenthau's board of police athletic league for 28 years. I know Bob well. And we have protected kids in the poor neighborhoods. We're out there making sure the kids have a better deal. And we're out there also for the elderly. So we're a liberal as far as taking care of our poor kids it. in the poor neighborhoods. You uh, are an immigrant. Yes. We're going to get an immigration bill? I hope so. Uh, I think we have to uh, uh, go forward um, and, uh, and just close uh, the past. Uh, we have 11 million uh, immigrants that don't know if they're coming or going. Any Democrat you uh, are worried about? Uh, no. Anthony Weiner, a serious candidate? 
I don't know. You know, I know him from before. He went to Brooklyn Tech like I did. Uh, and uh, he's a smart kid. Uh, but I'm not sure uh, people are ready to, to, to forgive. Uh, you know, sex is one thing from other people. But it went beyond that. And uh, it, it's a tough uh, situation. Who's Bloomberg going to support? I think Bloomberg will wait till 10 minutes before the election like he did with uh, President Obama. <laughs> What about Trump? Who's is Trump a Republican liberal? Uh, Trump is a Republican. He sent me a note the other day, and there's a magazine article I'll, uh, I'll send to you. He's endorsed me. Not bad, John. Not bad. He's a good guy. Now you don't really need this, John. You know, you I, don't need it. I this, this country, this city has been good to me. It's time for me to give back. I don't need the job going in. I don't need the job going out. I just want to be the 21st century LaGuardia. A couple of other things. Are we always going to be dependent on f Middle East and oil? We don't have to be. I'm in the oil business. If I was running for president, which I can't. No, you can't. Uh, I would have won. <laughs> uh, I would have a whole campaign and call it, you ready for this? Independence Day 2020. If the, we had the right president, by 2020, we can be 100% self-dependent in North America between Alaska, you need Canada, a overall being able to supply the United States and the whole of North America, between Alaska, Canada, the United States, the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, we could be self-sufficient. Independence Day 2020, you know how that would resonate among all the uh, American people? Just Great like idea. my marketing campaign for United Refining. Our gasoline is made from 100% North American crude oil. John, I wish you the best of luck, man. Thank you, Larry. I, I enjoyed meeting uh, you. meeting Look you. Look forward to meeting you for a long time. You're a great American. You're a classic example of the people who built this country. Thank as, you. As Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said when speaking to the Daughters of the American Revolution, my fellow immigrants. We're a society of immigrants. I salute you, John. Thank you. Thank you very much. John Katsabatidis, running for mayor in New York. Quite a guy.